How you doing YouTube? I'm going to do a part two on the hot wire foam cutter that I built. Uh, some questions have been brought up kind of more on how to use it and uh, how to initiate a cut maybe from the center so you're not coming from the outside. So let's get to it. Okay so my hot wire foam cutter uses 26 gauge nichrome wire. This is kind of the key for this thing to work. Uh, it allows it to get red hot it doesn't stretch it won't break you can actually see it's kind of char on the wood around the hole that the wire comes up through the bottom and again it utilizes a transformer and it transfers the voltage through the aluminum rod through a wire on the bottom and then in turn with the high amount of resistance in the wire it gets very hot creates a means of you to cut your foam so we'll turn that on let it warm up, it only takes about a second and you'll see it gets red hot. Now once it gets hot, it's kind of just like using a, uh, like a bandsaw. You see it, this is a like toolbox foam from Snap-on. You can see it cuts right through that. So this is good for doing toolbox cutouts. You want to do the shape of a wrench, kind of freehand a wrench there. There you go. Now, question is asked, you don't want to be running in, so how do you initiate a cut from the center? So first thing we'll do, we'll shut that thing off and we'll let it cool down. Okay, now that thing's cooled down, what I like to do, you can use anything, but you go ahead, in the middle of your template, whatever you want to do, you want to poke a hole. Now with the, this one that I built, you can just slide this loop right off of that uh, aluminum arm. And you can see it, it, this is actually what gives the wire tension. So all I do, find your hole, slide the wire up through, make sure you keep it marked so the wire stays vertical. Cause you don't want to be cutting uh, essentially a slant or a bevel. Hey, if you do want it beveled, you can, I guess you can adjust it there. And then what I do, I go ahead and turn it on, let it heat back up. Let it get red hot, and we'll go ahead and cut another wrench shape. Now obviously if you had a template I could make it a little bit more accurate, but you can see the amount of detail that you can actually do with this and then how easy it is. And you just go ahead and turn it off, let the wire cool down so you don't burn your fingers. Pop that wire off. And your cutout is done. So that's kind of how it works. Like I said, uh, if you watch my part one video, there's the wiring diagram. You can make make it out of anything. The, the key is honestly just the transformer, the wire, keeping it nice and taut, and then the rest. You know, you can be as creative as you want. You can use it for toolboxes, gun cases. You know, any, anything that has foam, and it, it cuts everything down uh, up to the, again, the Pelican foam. And this is another gun case that I did. And you can, you can see the amount of detail and how accurate it can be. It's all in the homework. You just have to build a template of the gun. And then, you know, what I would do is I would pin the paper temp or cardboard template to the foam. And then you just go ahead and follow the wire along the edge of your template, and it'll cut the shape nice and easy. So I find it a lot better than, than trying to fight with a razor blade or I've seen people use those uh, electric carving knives. You know, this thing only cost me about $30 to build 
and I've used it for numerous gun cases and it's great. Thanks for watching.